The video that I'm filming today is a little bit off niche for me. I have been thoroughly influenced. An oatmeal raisin cookie cake. I have no idea. Think about what you were good at, the working side of things. So if you were ever thinking about this type of thing as a side hustle, I will say. I got a lot to share with you guys. Good morning, good morning. I just finished up a little exercise. I absolutely love walking, which you know if you've watched my channel for a while because I'm often chatting with you guys while I'm out walking. And as the temperatures have cooled down, I have pulled out my Couch to 5K app again. I'm starting to do a few of those workouts just to add some little intervals in. I don't really have any plans to train for a race or to get back into like serious running, but it's kind of nice um, to do those little workouts that have like 60 second or 90 second jogging intervals in them. It's gonna be a busy day. And I got a lot to share with you guys. My husband officiated a wedding last weekend for a friend, and this was one of the favors that they gave out at the wedding. It's a little mini of the Texas Pecan Coffee from HEB, and I love this stuff. <laughs> I've gotta get back down to Texas and get some more of this stuff. I bet I could order it online. This is so good. So I'm treating myself to a nice cup of this this morning. I just finished dropping Ruthie off at the high school. She has a full day today. The junior musical is opening and she has a lead in the show. She It's it's double cast. So today's not her lead day. Today's her chorus day, but they're doing two shows today. And in between, she has to go and try out for um, Allstate. It's the second round of Allstate auditions. So she's got to hop on a bus between with a couple of other kids and go try out. And I know she's got it under control and um, she's just such a delightful, talented young lady. I know that I'm biased because I'm her mom, but I also taught vocal music for 15 years. I'm classically trained and I have to say she has, she has a knack for it. She has a really pretty little voice. She's such a good student and a good practicer. I know she's gonna, I know she's gonna have a great day. <laughs> and I know that I can't like hover over and watch, but she's growing up and she's gotta go do it herself. The last time I filmed, one of these kind of day in the life vlogs. It was more on the homemaking side of things. I am a work from home mom and I have to weave in all of those homemaker stuff like laundry and cleaning and just grocery shopping. Although I guess that's part of my job as well, the grocery shopping. But today it's gonna be more the working side of things. I've got a video that I need to film. So I need to freshen up my coffee and then go get ready for the day. And I just thought I'd bring you along with me and show you that side of it. I wanna talk a little bit about side hustles and different things that I've done over the years to make a little bit of extra money, hopefully give some ideas where that's concerned, and just sort of, you know, show you that side of life. I have been seeing these blow drying hairbrushes for a couple of years now, and I will admit that the other day I was totally influenced. <laughs> I saw them advertised all over Instagram and Facebook. They were having a sale like 50% off last week, so I went ahead and ordered one, and I'm gonna try it out today. My teenage daughter has already tried it out and said she really likes it, which tells me that it's probably not long for my bathroom. It's probably gonna disappear. <laughs> never to be seen or heard from again. But we're gonna try it out and see how it works on my short hair. This is the smallest one they had. It still looks kind of big for my length hair, but they say it's good for length of hair above above the shoulder. So we'll see. Okay, I have to say I I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this. I normally use a vented brush and then it's like a round vented brush and then I still have to pull out my straightener to get the ends tamed and curled under and I used nothing but this and you guys it's like perfectly see how it's like all stacked perfectly and and curled under in the back because I have an angled bob that's stacked in the back I gotta say I am delighted with this purchase maybe I can get them to sponsor a video down the road so that you guys can have a discount or maybe you can just search the company and see if there's somebody out there who has like a discount code or something but I'm impressed I'm impressed. I have I have been thoroughly influenced. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. I'm just gonna finish up my makeup, finish getting ready, and then I've gotta dive into filming today. The video that I'm filming today is a little bit off niche for me, and I'm, I'm hoping you're gonna see the video that I'm filming in this video. <laughs> It's like I'm filming a video while also filming a video, like a dream within a dream type situation. Hopefully you're gonna see it after you see this one, like the very next one. But typically I'm filming cooking content or grocery hauls or something that revolves around my family kitchen. And today I'm filming a gift guide. And I usually do mention things that I'm getting for my family, like for birthdays and Christmas. But this time I wanted to compile a really big list of gifts that have been winners, like gifts that have been hits in the past, things that I've purchased for my kids, things that have been purchased for me, things for adults, things for parents, 
parents things that are practical, things that are fun, games, toys, books, kitchen accessories, and it, I think I came up with almost 90 items that I'm gonna mention in today's video, or not in this video, in the video that I'm filming, that you'll see next. <laughs> some of my videos take days to film, and some like the one that I'm hoping to film today, I'm hoping to get it done in a single day because I did a lot of work the last few days planning it and preparing for it. And that's one thing that I mention a lot when people ask me about content creation is that it's not as glamorous as it seems. It's not that much time on camera. Like the time that I actually spend filming is probably less than 20% of the overall time that I devote to this business. There's a lot of stuff that happens on the back end. There's the planning, there's the optimization, there's the editing, there's engaging with your audience, there's corresponding with sponsors if you have sponsorships, there's all the bookkeeping tasks, which thank goodness my husband helps me with. There's just a lot that happens behind the scenes that people don't see to make the videos come to fruition, especially for channels that have been around for a little while. So if you were ever thinking about this type of thing as a side hustle, I will say, it's been a blessing for my family. It has turned into something I never thought it would be. It's turned into a full-time job and a full-time income, which I'm grateful for right now, especially as my husband is uh, searching for his next position. But I will say that it takes a lot of time. Those stories that you hear of people who start that Instagram account or they start that YouTube channel and within a year they've got 100,000 subscribers and they're making all kinds of money. I think those are the exception and not the rule. Like any other side hustle or business that you wanna start, it, it, it takes some hustle, you know? Not to be redundant, but it takes some work and it really does take some time. But if I can do it, I'm pretty sure anybody can do it because I never would have thought in a million years that this is what I would be doing at this phase in my life or any phase. Before I get started filming this gift guide video, I wanna get some Chex Mix going in my slow cooker. And if you missed my last video in October, I talked about this. It was all about, you know, maybe unusual things that you can do with your slow cooker. And I talked about how I make Chex Mix in a slow cooker. I have all these odds and ends like crackers and cereal and nuts and stuff. And I'm trying to kind of clean out my pantry and fridge before I go shop for the holiday week. That's what I've been doing uh, this past week. And this is just a really easy way to do it with snacky type items. And if I do it in the slow cooker, I just have to stop and stir it every now and then and not have my oven going in the background when I'm trying to film. But since we're talking about side hustles, I thought I'd mention some other things that I've done over the years to bring in a little extra money or that my husband has done. And we were actually talking about this. I've never not worked in some capacity, sometimes in a very part-time capacity, but I've never not like had something to contribute financially. And I wanna be very clear about this. I mentioned this in my last video. If you are a stay at home parent, there is a ton of value in what you are doing. You do not have to bring home a physical paycheck to be adding value to your family's life and making it possible for your family to, you know, be in the situation that you're in, making it possible for another person to go out and earn that paycheck. And that paycheck is as much yours as it is your partner's. But for some reason for me, I don't know, it's just always been a thing that I've done. Look to make a little extra money on the side. I've done everything from teach voice lessons. I have done a lot of choreography in my teaching days, like for show choirs, I've choreographed musicals and stuff on the side for a little extra money. I used to consign kids clothes, um, you know, at consignment sales like JBF, or I take them to Once Upon a Child. My husband does things like, you know, officiate weddings from time to time. We have sold stuff on Facebook Marketplace. We used to have an annual garage sale, so we would save up all of our stuff all year long so that we could make a little extra money at a garage sale. Ran out of battery in the camera and had to change it. There's a, there's a YouTuber problem for you. <laughs> when it comes to side hustles, I know I am I am no expert, but my advice to people is usually to think about what you are good at, what special skill you have or special interest you have that other people need and would add value to their life. So for instance, since I'm a, a musician, teaching voice lessons, teaching um, piano lessons, working part-time for churches, that sort of came naturally for me. I know people who are very good at cleaning houses, who are very good at packing lunches, who have turned that into a side hustle. And then the other thing, of course, that you have to think about is to do a little research and to make sure that, you know, you have the right certifications. You know, obviously if you wanted to open a home daycare, there's a lot of work that goes into that and a lot of certification that goes into that. You want to be on the right side of the law where everything is concerned. But if you have something that you are good at, something that interests you, that would add value to somebody else's life, a lot of times you can turn it into a side hustle with a little bit of research and a lot of just elbow grease and grit, you know? Where my channel is concerned, I, it started out as just a hobby, but I very quickly started to ask myself, what do I have 
to offer? You know, what can I offer that is valuable? What can I offer that is helpful? And what am I good at? And I thought, well, you know, I think I'm pretty good at keeping a handle on my family kitchen in a realistic way. Because a lot of what I was seeing on social media just didn't seem that practical or that achievable for the average family. That was when my content really started to pivot towards that niche and just sharing a lot of realistic ideas for shopping and how to save money and budget meals and crock pot cooking and quick meals and the types of things that I think a lot of families need if we're being honest. I'd like to take a minute to thank today's sponsor, BetterHelp, and they are offering a 10% discount on your first month when you use my link, betterhelp.com slash cmindymom or follow the link in the description box below. As you know, here on See Mindy Mom, I'm all about trying to be helpful in a kind, positive, and realistic way as we navigate the ups and downs of family life. But sometimes we just need a little extra help from a professional as we walk through those challenges. That's where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp is an online platform that can connect you with licensed therapists who can help you as you navigate a variety of issues from stress, anxiety, relationships, and more. As you know, if you've been watching my channel, my family's kind of walking through a challenging season right now, and I actually just got back from my most recent therapy appointment. So I understand firsthand just how helpful and important therapy can be. Maybe your schedule is super busy, or maybe you're just not comfortable with in-person therapy, or maybe you just don't have access in your area to the kind of therapist that you're looking for, and that's where BetterHelp can really bridge the gap. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire on the BetterHelp website that helps assess your specific needs, and then it will help you connect with one of their over 30,000 licensed therapists. And if you get started with one and it's not a good fit, which happens sometimes in therapy, you can switch to another therapist at no additional cost. If you think you might benefit from BetterHelp, you can visit the link in the description box below or go to betterhelp.com slash cmindymom, and you're also going to get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. And thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. Okay, I just finished filming and I think I got, I think I got a lot of what I needed save for some B-roll. I really need to go around and get some footage of some of the items that I mentioned for that video, <laughs> but I'm hungry. So it's lunchtime. It's time to, time to whip up something for lunch. I have no idea what I'm going to have. I perused my freezer and found this couscous blend from Aldi. So while that was in the microwave, I sauteed some extra onions and peppers. They were from the freezer. And then I tossed it all together in the skillet, little soy sauce, a little sesame oil, and a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning here. And I think we'll be in business. Yay. My husband has several meetings today. He's been doing a ton of networking. If you missed my video from, I don't know, I think it was last month, maybe end of September, my husband resigned from his position that he's been in for five and a half years, and we are seeking a new situation. Actually, I, we're hopeful that we're close to something. We were actually expecting it to take several months. We're taking our time to figure out what comes next, but something might pan out sooner than we think. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, in, in the middle of all that today, he is taking care of the two younger ones, getting them to and from school. And he does that a lot of days. He's been spending a lot more time with the kids and going to activities and kind of helping out with the shuttling of getting kids back and forth during these last couple months. I have to say he kind of enjoys the flexibility of that. But before he gets home with Brick, I need to make sure that I get Brick birthday presents wrap because his birthday is this week and he has requested of course a shrimp boil which I do in the crock pot so I'm gonna get that going for him on his birthday and then the other thing that he has requested is an an oatmeal raisin cookie cake now I've heard of you know chocolate chip cookie cakes and um, sugar cookie and peanut butter I don't know that I've ever had an oatmeal raisin cookie cake but I think I may have found a recipe on Pinterest that I can try it has like a like a maple cinnamon icing future Mindy hopping on here to report on the oatmeal raisin cookie cake. I did not realize because I just looked at the ingredients to see if it's what I wanted. I didn't really look through the directions, but it recommends chilling it as long as overnight. And I can't chill it overnight because I need it today. And I'm not even sure that it really needs it. The dough is pretty thick, but I did pop it into the refrigerator and we'll just chill it for as long as we can before I need to bake it. Secondly, I had this fantastic idea that I was going to look up a recipe for oatmeal cream pies and make the frosting that goes along with that. But I could not find any marshmallow fluff. 
Is there a marshmallow cream shortage? Is there like no marshmallow fluff out there? I went to two different stores and couldn't find it. So instead I did go ahead and just pick up this canister of whipped cream cheese icing. I wasn't in a store that had a bakery because I normally like to use the bakery icing. If you watch my channel, you know, but what I'm going to do, I think is stir in a little bit of cinnamon and maybe just a little extra powdered sugar to make it just a little bit thicker to pipe onto the cake when it's done baking. And we'll see how that turns out. Right now I want to get some things wrapped. This is one of the things that he's getting for his birthday. I actually mentioned this in the video that I filmed today with gifts. He's of course getting some Rangers gear. I think there is some Rangers World Champs, you know, some World Series Champ gear on its way for the little Rangers fan. And I wanna make sure that I get all that wrapped before they walk in the door. Here's a confession for you guys. My husband and I have never really been into the big extravagant birthday parties for our kids. If that's something that you wanna do, if you're really into the big themed parties with all of the food and the favors and maybe the venue, then that's great. It's just not for us. And really up until a few years ago, birthday parties were really just a family thing. I mean, maybe some grandparents and cousins coming over, you know, maybe order a pizza. We probably would have some cake or cookies, usually homemade, open a few presents and that would be that. And the last couple of years we have let the kids have like a friend or two, maybe go out to a nice dinner for the girls, maybe go get their nails done. Ruthie had a movie party on our patio where they just watched a movie on our patio with movies type snacks, but we've just never really been in to the big birthday party thing. It's just not for us. So if that's you and you need to hear that somebody else is like that, then <laughs> this is me telling you that. And if it's not something that you can do or want to do, it doesn't mean that you can't make them feel really special on their birthday. I don't think you have to have the big extravagant party to really celebrate them. Yesterday went by in a blur. <laughs> Ruthie made it through her busy day and she had a happily ever after because we got word last night that she was selected to the Allstate Chorus. So we're super proud of her. This morning, the family's back at the house enjoying McDonald's breakfast in honor of Brick's birthday. He's been asking for that for a few days so I went out and grabbed that this morning and I have to say McDonald's has kind of sucked me back in with their app does anybody else use the McDonald's app <laughs> we eat fast food less and less because it's gotten kind of pricey but there are some good deals on that yesterday I did a ton of work but today I've got to flip back into mom mode for most of the day McKenna has a Thanksgiving picnic at her school Ruthie has a dress rehearsal for her show tomorrow I've got birthday festivities to prepare for so it's gonna be another fun day and I want to kick that off. Whether you are a work from home parent or you are a homemaking parent, I see you. I'm with you. And when I watch daily vlogs, a lot of times I'm looking for just camaraderie. You know, I'm looking for some ideas maybe that I can utilize. So I hope there was something here that's tangible and useful for you. But sometimes I'm just looking for the company. You know, I want to know that somebody else is in the trenches with me. So if that's you, I hope that you found something helpful and I hope that you felt like you were with a friend walking through your day. Pick out one of these videos to watch next and I will see you there.